I'd like to start by having you talk a little bit about what it's like being on this amazing set. Like right now, the backdrop with this bar. When you, how does that help you as an actor when you're working? Um, well, it helps me as an actor because as soon as you walk in here, I mean, immediately you're uh, you're transformed into a a set and a world that I've never never been in before. <clears throat> as Tony and um, and this this Daytac coming into this town because Daytac Tar, the Castathan man that I play, he spends a lot of time in the Need Want and. Uh, I think everybody thinks it's such a well, I think it's also it's a great name, you know, the need want. It's a sort of a, it's a self-explanatory what goes on here and uh, <laughs> your your uh, your your greatest desires, anything anything you require, obviously need or want you you can have here. But no, when you come into sets like this, it just uh, it's, it sets the the backdrop for the world of the fines. The production values on this are uh, are. Um, are really unique for a start. I think there's definitely so many things in this production, uh, this backdrop, including many others um, uh, that are that are sort of the first time, if you like, for this production for Defiance. So when you walk on here and a lot of the costumes as well, uh, yeah, it definitely gets you into uh, your character with them. All the other work that you, you do beforehand to prepare for the role that I'm, um, yeah, walking in here, it certainly um, inspires a sort of um, an alien world, I guess, you know. And the outside, that back lot is pretty amazing. Do you have a favorite aspect of that? I like, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's hard to put a finger on because there's so many different, it's such a, a mishmash of different worlds and of old world. Um, 2013, uh, you know, St. Louis, and you know, New World defines 2043. There's a sort of, and uh, there's a whole combination of. Uh, it's very sort of, hopefully, Blade Runner esque, and it's sort of um, uh, approach as well. But uh, I'm a big fan of my own home, actually. If I can say that, I think the Tar House is, is quite a quite a unique, um, quite a unique looking. Uh, Building and uh, and also the, the the train that's in the front of my house as well. Uh, there's a we don't know how it got there, but it's a, it's one of the cafes in the uh, in Defiance. It's quite a unique set. It weighs uh, I don't know 60 ton, maybe more than that. I'm not sure, but hopefully it'll be there for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> Can you talk a little about your character and what role you play within yeah. the overall? television show. Sure. Um, in Defiance, I play Daytac Tar, who is a, a, a Castathan uh, from the planet Casti. Um, I've come here because our planet has been uh, destroyed and they were basically uh, refugees. Uh, the Votan races, there's seven Votan races, and we've come to planet Earth as, as all human beings presume when uh, alien races, because it happens all the time, on planet Earth, as we know, when we, we always think, oh, we're under attack, but uh, we're not actually under attack at all. These aliens have come as refugees. Um, so it's very similar in many ways to other, um, you know, human sort of uh, you know, things that have happened in our planet. It's just in this case, these, these races have come from another planet that's been destroyed, and they're actually just looking for a new home. But at first, you know, the, the paranoia you know, and, and the suspicion of the, uh, of the humans uh, takes over. And there's a war that breaks out. Um, Daytac fights in that war. And uh, at the end of it, when you know, the, the, the aliens end up helping, you know, the name of the finds comes from the fact that the aliens and the humans came together to save these children. And that was the act of defiance, as it were. And that's what eventually stopped the war. Um, Daytac is a—he's a—he's one of the more uh, sort of highfalutin members of the city of the town. He's quite a, um, upwardly mobile, you might say. He has—he uh, has very—he has can have very ruthless methods to get what he uh, to get what he wants to get. Basically, in the beginning, when in the beginning. <laughs> Uh, when, when I first came here, um, 
there was something that happened on our ship, or our ark, I should say, and I ended up um, having a an affair with with Stama, who is a she, her, she is of a higher caste than Daytac. Um, Daytac has basically been dragged up from a Dickens novel, if you like, um, and has done good. Um, it's not quite great expectations, but it's uh, it's it, it's not far off it. Uh, and uh, his wife is a she's a very she's a very smart woman as well. He's definitely got he's definitely a bit of rough, if you will, Daytac. But he's a smart guy, but he's he's quite ruthless in his ways. Whereas Stama is my wife. She's very much more the uh, yeah, as Kevin Murphy says, I'm a checkers player. She plays chess. <laughs> so, um, uh, but he's learning day tag. I think he's definitely learning. It's um, behind. Well, as we say, behind every good man, there's an even better woman, you know, or equal. <laughs> so, uh, and he's basically he wants he wants more power in this town. He wants to control. Well, he already does control the hollows and other aspects of the city, racketeering and so on. He's a bit of an alien gangster, if you will. But um, he's definitely he's becoming more and more popular. Um, there's uh, the Earth Republic, and then there's the Votan Collective, which are which are the two sort of political powers on Earth, amongst others, of course. But um, the, uh, Daytac wants the the Votan as collective to be more powerful and to be the equal of uh, of the human beings. Um, he's uh, so he is. He's very. Uh, he's he's very. Um, He's a man who, who definitely is, is he, he wants to climb the ladder, you know, he definitely wants to climb the ladder and people who stand in his way, you know, they're, they're not around for long, unless of course he likes them. <laughs>